So we're going to jump in, and uh, Maria's hopefully going to cross our fingers and our toes that her mic and her, everything holds out, and she's going to talk to us about applied digital skills. Maria, you're right to go. Yep. All awesome. good. Coming through loud and clear. All yours. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Um, so I've just become recently an, an ambassador for Applied Digital Skills. <laughs> and so I thought I would just uh, share the love a bit, really. Um, and if you want to know more, then you can get in contact with me. You've got my information there and um, free any, well, not any time, but I'm free to do a demo. We can arrange a time. So Applied Digital Skills um, is a free curriculum that's online. Um, just a little tip go through the american version because there's a lot more available to you than if you look at the uk or europe version um, you can select which age groups you're looking at or which topics you're looking at and i think it's a really good way of um, it's self-paced learning so they look at videos and then they're doing what they're seeing in the video and then at the very end of it it's um there's quizzes available so it's a great way of um looking at the cross curriculum of ICT skills across the curriculum, but also um, getting them future ready. So you could use it as um, maybe an extension activity or you could use it as pre skills as you're going into a subject area or skill set that you want them to have for a project. Um, you can see in the next slide, if you can please go across, thank you very much, um, that it talks about that it is project learning. Um, there is so many hours of lessons. You can even search on uh, the length of time. You could look at an hour or you could look over a number of days or longer than that. So you've got that searchability as well. Um, you can set it up as a classroom or through Google Classroom. So um, you can track where the kids are going and whether they're what or they have to watch the videos they can't move on but where they're up to the videos um how much of the task they have done you also have the option yourself if you want to pick and choose what you want out of that curriculum you can download the videos and the pdfs etc um, yourself and there is also additional resources available to you teacher resources that you may want to do again for pre or extension um, you can have a look there in uh, the types of digital skills that it's looking at, coding, spreadsheets, data visualization, graphic design, website publishing, document formatting, internet search, file organization. Um, you can see the different sorts of um, Google tools that it's exposing students to. Um, they even have this um, program available for adult learners and they're branching out in different languages as well. So um, Spanish naturally being one of the strong ones as it's the, I think the largest spoken, maybe after Chinese, the largest spoken language. Um, um, I think that's about it, it in a nutshell. Um, on the next slide there, I've got a video, but perhaps when we push out the slides to um, the attendees, they can have a look at that video. And of course, please just uh, shoot me a message through Twitter or email if you would like a demo. I'm more than happy to work through a more um, detailed example and let you experience what it's like as a teacher and a student to experience that platform. Awesome. Thanks, Maria. Probably should have done a better job of introducing you. Do you want to let everyone know where you're based? Uh, what school you're at? Yeah, so I'm from Lakes Entrance Primary School. So we're um, four hours out of Melbourne. We're regional area. I'm a STEM specialist teacher for the whole school. Um, and then I've got a few little Google titles under my belt. I'm very, very passionate <laughs> about um, changing mindset and bringing technology into this area as we're we're emerging learners.